Hi, Karen here, and I'm going to show you how to install WordPress onto your new domain that you just registered, and we're in GoDaddy. So the first thing you want to do is log into your account, which I'm already logged into mine. Just click on My Account. And then you will see Web Hosting. Click on the Web Hosting. And then you will go over here and you will launch your web hosting. This puts you into GoDaddy's relatively new cPanel. And then you will go to Options and Settings and click on WordPress. And then you will click on Install Now. Now from here, you'll have your, if you only have one domain because you're just starting, you will just click on that domain and you will click on Next. And then here, and make sure you put this in a notepad somewhere and keep it, the database description. So if I was going to be doing this, it would just be beginner's nail art. This is an old domain that I had that I let go. And then follow the instructions clearly for creating a password. It's got to be a certain thing here. So let's see. It has to have a lowercase letter, lowercase letter, and then it has to have an uppercase letter, so an uppercase letter has to have a special character so we'll put a percent mark in there and it has to be at least 8 and 14 characters so we'll just put 214 let me see if that's 14 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 that's good and then you have to put the same password into there which I didn't remember what I wrote so let's do this bring up notepad has to have a lowercase letter, lowercase letter, has to have an uppercase letter, has to have a special character, and it has to be up to eight things. So two, oh, one, three. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'm good. And let's see if they let me copy paste it in here. I've been able to do that before. This way you know they match. All right, good job. These aren't clickable. This is just letting you know where you go next. You click on next. Now, if you want to install it into the root folder, because that's going to be your main blog. Now, if I had this set up as an HTML or a static site, and I wanted to make my blog separate, then I would put blog in here. But I'm not going to do that. Then you click on next. Then, in here, now I'm not going to finish because I'm not using this domain name, but you would choose an admin name, you would choose an admin password, it can be different than the passwords that you just had for your database, or you can just use the same one, as long as they're the same, your primary email, the title of your blog, which is either going to be your name or whatever you're calling it, and then you click on finish. The screen that you get when you finish will just say that it's in progress and such like that. So what you want to do when you have click finish is you can go on to manage my applications. This will tell you that these were installed. Don't worry about install errors. These are things I was playing with yesterday. But this is what you should see. Successfully installed you have successfully installed WordPress. And in the next video, I'll show you how to upload a theme.